Okay, I got a few videos I'd like for you to take a look at. Check out this first one. Notice the trumpet blasts. It sounds like trumpets anyway, but it's not. See that halo? A big round circle in the sky with clouds in the center of it getting sucked in. In fact, look at the ones on the edges getting sucked in. Look at the center. It's nice and bright. And it's going to pan up a little bit and you're going to see it looks even better, right? It looks amazing, doesn't it? And then boom, the video stops. There's a reason it stops. But after reading some of the comments on this video, as well as other videos like it, I can see why Satan would move scientists to do this today. But before sharing what I mean, I need to clarify that this is a man-made display. The fact that the video cuts away so fast suggests the obvious is being hidden here. I mean, after all, why not allow the video to show the entire event? It wasn't over. And, and, and even if the videographer wasn't there for the start of it, why not let the video run longer than 20 seconds to get a longer look at what's going on here? I mean, could it be something happened in the clouds that made it appear 100% man-made? I do believe that's why they stopped the video. Check out these other videos I found uh, when I was looking for a video that I saw years ago about a cloud with lights in it changing, like someone was changing a dial on a radio one day before China got hit with an earthquake. Check it out. Oh my goodness. Watch that light in the center. Look at that. It's moving around. That's not an airplane, by the way. Watch what happens here in another moment or two. It's going to be pretty obvious that uh, it's not natural. Just watch. I mean, it's bad enough now it's moving around like this, but uh, it's going to split. There you go. See that? Kind of like disappears. It'll, it'll come back, though. I mean, if you watch it long enough, this thing's 18 minutes long, so I'm not going to watch the whole thing. But And then check out this one here. Now, this one, I think, is the one from China, but I couldn't verify it. But check out this, this light right here in the center. Watch this. See that? Looks like something's changing the dial. Pretty obvious, isn't it? I mean, the one I saw years ago actually had colors in it, too, but this one here just uh, appears to be white. And then I found this one. I was just going to throw this in for good measure. It's some kind of a... This one here reminds me of Norway. I think it was 2009. They had that uh, weird spiral in the sky. This is similar to that. You know, they, they did this at night, obviously, right? So when I read the comments of all the people that believe that the trumpet sounds that you heard in the first video, as well as there's, there's hundreds of them now out there, or maybe even thousands where... You hear, you hear these weird trumpet sounds. Uh, they, they believe that means uh, the end of the world. And, uh, well, yeah, Jesus is coming, and yes, we are in the last days, but it's obvious no one's reading their Bibles. And what I mean by that when I say they're not reading their Bibles, it's obvious they heard somebody talk about trumpets or, or trumpet blasts at the last day on earth and stuff like that or near the end of time, and they all think uh, they're just going to add sensationalism to it, right? And so they assume that, this is all prophetic, if you will. But the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 52, In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. How many years have we been hearing these trumpets? Seen anybody coming out of their graves? That trumpet doesn't blow until the very day Jesus calls the people from their graves. But because most people don't read Bibles... They don't know that. And so the strange sights and the strange sounds manufactured by man can keep them in confusion. And it's no mistake, nor was this the first time we've seen videos like this that showed up showing strange sights over Jerusalem. That's to keep the confusion about true Israel out of the minds of the people. I mean, most people think it's the Jews, but the Bible clearly says they are no longer the chosen people. In fact, I did a video on all the verses that confirmed the truth about that years ago. But when you see these strange sights over Jerusalem and whatnot, they keep thinking, oh, they're the true people. How can they be the chosen people when they denied Christ as their own Messiah, as our Messiah? But what we see happening in Jerusalem appears to be a testing of weather modification technology, while at the same time, a testing of the obvious benefit afforded them when they test things like this, because it's going to make things happen in the sky and you're going to be able to use that to manipulate the people. I mean, they could have easily done all this at night and no one would have seen it. Or they could have done like you see here on the screen, like, or they did like in, back in uh, uh, Norway with the uh, spiral in the sky and all that other stuff. But they need to keep the people confused and 
enthralled, if you will. Because they know when the people are fearful, they're going to have no choice but to trust their leaders more and more. I mean, need I remind you of all the new unjust laws that came to enforcement after the Twin Towers fell? Had Bush passed or tried to pass those laws without those towers falling, you know, the people would have revolted. According to scripture, Antichrist is soon to arrive to fake the second coming. Since most people don't read their Bibles, Satan knows the majority will believe he is Jesus Christ when he appears in Jerusalem. Is he asking mankind to partake in the deception? Of course he is. He has no choice. This is why he set up the Vatican as his base of operations. He needs men under his control to do his bidding for him. But does he need mankind to help him appear more glorious before the eyes of those he controls? No. He can do that all on his own without any problem whatsoever. But he does require obedience. And so far as I can see, Falderall like this is nothing more than an open show of loyalty to him as well as an open mockery of the Lord Jesus Christ that wrote the Bible in the first place. I mean, if these people just open their Bibles, none of this stuff would work. But because the majority of people don't open their Bibles, these guys are having a, a field day with these strange signs that they're putting in the skies. What's worse, I don't think any of those that are under control by Satan, who's pushing all these uh, technologies to cause these things to happen, they don't know where this will all end because, like I said a moment ago, they don't read their Bibles. Satan also believes the amount of obedient Christians on earth that do read Bibles and do know what he's up to will be limited in their ability to warn everyone on earth of his deception. And this is why he doesn't appear as Jesus until we get very, very close to the end. I mean, it's obvious he figures we won't have time to warn the masses because he's going to step on planet earth and appear right before the end. But then, Satan has never been one to effectively comprehend God's next move. Need I remind you of the Red Sea, Goliath, or even the lion's den? It's times like these that our God shines the most. Thank you for watching. God bless.